Good day guys, happily average racer here. We're going to do a track guide today of the Bathurst circuit. We're using the version by the Reboot team, which is the conversion from ACC. Uh, probably the most accurate version of Bathurst out there by far. Um, best time around here is about 2.05.5, but we won't be going for that today. We're just going to do a quick run round of the track, go through the lines and the breaking points, uh, and then we'll do a flying lap and uh, see how it all comes together. I'm just going to load up my current setup here. Alright guys, so this is our walkthrough for Bathurst. So during the hot lap, you'll be up to about fourth gear coming down the front straight. The braking point is about 120 metres out. Then we're going to go down the third gear, then second gear as you hit the apex. So there's our braking point just gone past. Third gear, second gear, blip in the throttle as you downshift so you don't lose the rear end of the car. We cut across here, second gear, let the car drift out over the rumble strip. You can hit that green part there, that's totally fine. Won't unsettle the car too much and then blast that mountain straight. over the hill, you'll be in 5th gear by this point, you won't get the 6th gear with the gearing that, that we're running on the car. The braking point is again about 120 metres, 110 metres out. Because it's uphill, you brake a little bit later, uh, and you'll be down to about 3rd gear, sometimes 2nd, but I try and hold 3rd gear. The speed I'm aiming for though is about 135-140 k's through the apex. Really important thing with uh, Griffin's Bend is not to hit the rumble strip. The white line's okay, don't hit the rumble strip, otherwise you will you will lose the car, it gets very unsettled. So about 135 k's, let the car drift out on the exit. You can run over the outside rumble strip and then go up towards the cutting. We'll be in about fourth gear by the time we hit the braking point for the cutting. Hang to the right hand side. As we get to the MTAA sign, quickly down the third, cut right across the apex. As the car straightens up, about here, down to second, and then turning and again into first gear through the Audi sign. About 90 kilometers an hour, 95 is pretty good. On the exit, quickly in the second gear to stop any wheel spin. You'll hit third gear just around this corner. Again, just off the throttle, no brakes, just control the car with the throttle. And you'll be up to fourth gear by the time we get to the BP ultimate sign. Now the biggest thing about the cross at the top of the mountain to get through the head is that that last braking point you just just did at the cutting is the last time you'll touch the brakes until you hit skyline. This whole top section is fourth or fifth gear, just on and off the throttle, moving the weight of the car around, but no brakes for a fast lap. So again, up here you'll be in fourth gear. As I said, you'll just lift off the throttle and keep it nice and tight to that inside curbing. About 150, 155 k's is probably a good um, speed to aim for. Letting the car drift out over through Silman Park. Again, fourth gear, you'll be over the top of the hill here. Let the car drift out wide. There's a bit of extra asphalt out here. You can just put the right hand wheels into that to give yourself a nice tight apex. But again, no brakes, just off the throttle, aim for the apex, let the car drift out towards the wall. And as you come up over the top of the perfect sign, I just will flick fifth gear. And again, off the throttle, no brakes, nice and tight on the inside there, let the car run out wide. So we haven't touched the brakes at all through that whole section, it's simply lifting on and off the throttle to move the weight of the car around. As you come in the skyline, you'll be in fifth gear as I said, you hit fourth gear just before the sign that we've just gone underneath. Third gear just on the apex of this little right hander. And then second gear on the apex on the left hand side here. And then finally down the first gear for the dipper. Just to get help get a good run out of the dipper through the next section. So first gear down through there. And again short shift, second gear, third gear, fourth gear. Now I like to get my braking out of the way fairly early for the elbow. I'll usually hit third gear just before I turn to the right. And as I come up over the hill and just see the elbow, second gear on the brake, sometimes first gear, just depends how I'm pulling the car up. The key is to keep it nice and tight through that Bentley sign and let the car drift out wide again for the blast down Conrod. 
So again, through the chase, you'll hang to the left hand side here on the asphalt, cut across the apex in six gear. The braking zone will be inside the 200 meter marker, and you'll quickly go down to third gear. Again, a little bit of an uphill braking zone, so you can pull the car up a little bit later. Third gear, around 110 k's, cut across the apex of the left hander, and then you can pretty much full speed through the right hander, just a little bit off the throttle to get you through there. You can run over the rumble strip on the outside, won't unsettle the car too much. And then down to the final corner. We'll briefly get into the fifth gear down here. And the braking zone again is that AMG sign there between the 100 and the 150. Down to second gear. Again, really important to lift the throttle so you don't lose the back end. And cut nice and tight there at about 100 kilometers an hour. Let the car drift out for the main straight. Over the timing beam. And that was a, a lap of Bathurst, so we'll do a flying lap now and see how it all comes together.